Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I am going to show you the solution for question 7 from the Jan 2009 PUA paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so we have a payroll question, and they're telling us that the factory workers at Garmex Limited are paid $30 an hour Monday to Friday and time and a half on weekends. The time card below shows the number of hours worked by each of the four employees. So we have a time card with A. Smith, P. Pissar, T. Roberts, L. Martin, and the hours worked by each of these individuals from Sunday to Saturday. We have some more information. It says that deductions include national insurance, 5% of gross pay, contribution to pension fund, 2.5% of gross pay, and income tax, 15% of pay after deducting national insurance and pension fund contributions. We are required to, on the answer sheet provided, prepare the payroll for the four employees. Let's take a look at that answer sheet. Okay, so we're seeing it here, right? So we have the employees going across, right? Each one has a, a, a individual column. And going across, we have gross pay, national insurance, pension fund, income tax, total deductions and net pay. So the first thing we have to work out is the gross pay. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the information from the time card here and made my own version of it across here. So I've pulled out, I've put the, the, the individuals going across and the days going down. So we can just find a total. I've done the weekdays first, right? So we're going to add up the columns going down and we're going to get total hours worked on weekdays for each of these people here, Smith, Persad, Roberts and Martin. And we're going to multiply that by $30 per hour, which is the rate given to us in the question. Multiplying the hours by the hourly rate for the weekdays gives us the gross pay for the weekdays for each of the individuals. Now we're going to shift down slightly to take a look at the weekend information. So I've taken the hours worked on the weekends for each of the um, people. We're going to add up just those two for each of the people and then we're going to multiply by time and a half. What does that mean and why do I have 45? So remember the regular rate, rate sorry, during the week was $30 per hour. Time and a half means you're going to find half of that rate, half of 30 is 15, and add it on to the 30. 30 plus 15 is 45. When you multiply, you're going to get these items here for the gross pay for the weekend. And all we have to do to find total gross pay is add the gross pay for the weekdays to the gross pay for the weekends, and we get the gross pay, total gross pay. Now, we're going to use the total gross pay to calculate everything else. So I've set up a little uh, table down here with a column for each of the workers. So we're gonna put the gross pay. Right now, I've added some cents because when we find some of the percentage, so remember the first thing we had to do was find national insurance, 5% of gross pay, and then contribution to pension fund, 2.5%. So we're just gonna multiply each of those figures by 5% to find the national insurance contribution. And we could also multiply the same gross pay figure by 2.5% to find the pension fund contribution. Now for the income tax, it says it's 15% of pay after deducting national insurance and pension fund contributions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract those contributions from the gross pay to get income before tax. Now it said income tax was 15% of that figure. We're just going to find 15% and get those items. Now the handout or the worksheet, whatever you want to call it, had a line for total deductions. So to get that, we have to add the national insurance, pension fund, and the income tax in order to get total deductions. And then we could subtract that from the gross pay to get the net pay, right? And that's the answer for part A. Let's take a look at part B, all right? So part B asks us to write brief definitions for each of the following, time clock card, gross pay, take home pay, bonus, and voluntary deductions. Okay, so a time clock card is a card used to keep track of the times employees enter and leave work. Remember, they said simple definitions and as a mark each, so don't go overboard, right? Next, gross pay, the dollar value of income earned before any deductions are made. Long story short. Next, they want take home pay, the dollar value of income earned after all deductions are made. So you can put all statutory and voluntary deductions, but I, I feel I would have been redundant. All deductions covers it, right? Next, bonus. A bonus is extra income earned above the regular amount. And finally, voluntary deductions. These are deductions requested by employees and not mandated by the government. Those, of course, would be statutory deductions. And you know what? Um, that's it for this question. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question 7 from the Jan 2009 PUA Paper 2. 
If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If, of course, you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some pretty useful PA handouts. Anyway, guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.